Okay, folks, we are getting ready to leave for day number seven. Seven. Seven days. Seven. Seven. We are leaving the great city of Nashville. Very uh, well entertained here. And uh, we are heading into Memphis today. So, if you're following along, that's where we shall be. All right, let's GPS and get up on the highway, and we got a 210-mile ride today. Yay. Yay! All right. We'll see you back here then. Yep, goodbye, Nashville. All right, gang, we made it to Memphis. We are at our stopping point for the next couple days here is at the Marriott. And uh, I got an interesting message on Facebook today and I wanted to uh, address it. Uh, it was basically, somebody asked uh, that we've been gone already for seven days. What's today, day seven? Yeah, today's day seven. Yeah, yeah. so you're correct. So we've been gone seven days. And the question was, then if you've been gone seven days, it's going to take you seven days to get back home to Pennsylvania. And that's, that's not the truth. Uh, the truth is we spent two days at different hotels. And that was, that's what puts us at a seven-day vacation uh, traveling through Tennessee. Now, the, the next part of this I'm going to address is, they said, well, how much time do you get off a year? Well, we're very fortunate that my wife is a teacher, uh, Mrs. HDR is a teacher, so she's laid off in the summer. Uh, I personally get uh, four weeks of vacation a year, and I can take that however I want it. So each year we know, starting last year, that we're gonna do a bike trip. And we give ourselves two weeks to do that bike trip. We leave on a Saturday, and we hope to be home by Saturday, but honestly, we're hoping to be home by next Thursday. So that is how that all plays out. So if you're wondering, how in the world are you so lucky to be able to go out on a trip like this? Uh, really, honestly, uh, I don't think luck has anything to do with that. I think it's the fortunate of uh, our jobs, the way that we work. Uh, we both work for schools. Um, I do, as I said, computers for schools. My, uh, Mrs. HDR is a teacher in a school, so she gets laid off. I get regular vacation time because I work all year long because I work in the technology field. So. That is how that all plays out if you're uh, wondering how to do that. Um, but in the past, we have taken seven-day vacations. We've taken a lot of cruises. Uh, we've been to, uh, we flew to Hawaii for a 10-year wedding anniversary, which was really cool. Uh, and a lot of times my kids will ask me, well, Dad, how, how do you guys get to do that? It's just called saving and planning, right? We save all year long. Uh, you work really, really hard all year. and You save all year long. Uh, if you put $50 to pay uh, every two weeks, or even uh, better yet, $100 if you can do it out of each paycheck in the bank, 
then you can go out and take a vacation. So, but that's how we get to go on this motorcycle trip. Uh, we're very um, uh, fortunate. Again, uh, in a little while here, we're going to be meeting uh, one of our viewers, and I'm not going to reveal that viewer uh, who that is until we do get to meet up. Um, we'll hopefully get some kind of video, maybe, um, of talking a little bit, and hopefully we'll get a couple pictures uh, uh, together so we can have those. Um, just as being uh, being on the road, I like to meet you guys as many people as I can. Uh, being out here, we like to get out. We like to say hello to people. Maybe sit down, and have a drink with you. Uh, and if we can, better yet, is to go out, if we have time to do a little ride together. Um, tonight, well, we were planning to go down to Bu Bu Street, Bu Street, BB King's place. Um, she's very interested in that. And we are going to go to um, uh, 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 Elvis Presley's Graceland. Uh, she's very interested in that. So there's two things we got to do yet here. Then we'll be leaving Memphis, heading up. We're hoping to make it to Juliet, Illinois. We may not. We may go across. Uh, she's talking about going into Kentucky. or I think it was Kentucky. Uh, we want to hit 66 at the lowest point that we can hit 66 and take 66 back up. Uh, as far as we can go near Chicago without hitting Chicago, coming out, going over to Sandusky, uh, probably staying there for the evening in Sandusky, and then we'll leave. For, that'll be like one night, just a place to sleep, uh, recuperate, and then we're going to leave there, and we're going to head out uh, back to home, uh, back in Pennsylvania. So that, that's how that trip's going to work out. So thanks, everybody, for listening to that part. Okay, folks, thanks for joining us here for day number seven for this uh, this. 2018 bike trip and uh, we will uh, talk to you tomorrow which will be day eight and let you know what we're doing tomorrow we're going to be uh, sightseeing around memphis and then on day nine we'll be departing memphis and we'll be going uh, shooting as i told you earlier back up to juliet illinois uh, somewhere in that area so all right but thanks for watching remember ride your own ride be safe out there Look out for one another. Look for cars around you. It's extremely important. Um, we came in today on like four and five lane highways and you have to have eyes all over you. And luckily a lot of folks out here, thanks to everybody from Memphis uh, for watching out for us personally on the motorcycle. A lot of people stopped and they let us in and thank you so, so much for that. All right, and we will talk to you next time. Harley Day Rider and Mrs. HDR will be out in Memphis.